In this clip, Kevin Henney speaks on technical debt and why it may not always be as much of a problem as you think. That's why we talk about technical debt, because everybody has some experience with debt. But the minute you start breaking it down into other things, you suddenly discover you're narrowing your audience. That's why it's one of the most successful metaphors here. Martin Fowler helped popularize the metaphor. He didn't coin it. Ward, Ward Cunningham coined it about a decade earlier. Technical debt is a wonderful metaphor developed by Ward Cunningham. Now, what happened next is, in, is actually tells us why it is that we've had this kind of perception dominate our thinking. In this metaphor, doing things the quick and dirty way sets us up with a technical debt, which is similar to a financial debt. This is the thing that Martin said. He used the phrase quick and dirty. And in fact, he uses it repeatedly in the original version of the article. Quick and dirty is a negative thing. You're not saying that it's a good decision. It's quick and it's dirty. There's something not quite right about it. It's not good. That association sticks, which is why people have ended up with a negative connotation, why people will often say technical debt is nest. They think of it as being bad. Whereas Ward was introducing us with the exact trade-off that we talked about earlier. The time horizon, that idea of there may be a point at which this is appropriate and then another point where you have to rectify things. Shipping first-time code is like going into debt. He's not saying produce crap. He's not saying ignore technical excellence. A little debt speeds development so long as it is paid back promptly with a, with a rewrite. He's very clear on this. The idea is that you are borrowing. In fact, that's the, the, the better metaphor, and this is the idea, is perhaps we've missed the point of the debt metaphor. The debt metaphor is not a debt metaphor, it's a borrowing metaphor. And borrowing implies that there are two events, the one at the beginning and the one at the end where you return it. The idea of the debt metaphor is the repayment. It's the idea of borrowing against time or borrowing against yourself. And sometimes we do that because we have a deadline, but sometimes why do I want to invest a lot of effort in something when I'm not even sure what it is that I'm building or why I'm building it or whether the customer will want it. Well, you know what? The easiest way to find out is to ask a question of the real world. Create a thing, get the feedback, respond. Okay? That's the whole point of this. And that's the real problem with technical debt. It's not the act itself, but failing to pay it back. Left to their own devices, people tend to follow the path of least resistance. And thinking in financial terms helps to put this in perspective. But just as important is setting up systems that go beyond individual discipline like mandatory code reviews, regular code-based audits, and when the stakes rise, turning best practices into something like clean rules. And that last one might just be the most effective. Because to use another metaphor, technical debt is like a sink full of dirty dishes. One plate doesn't trigger the urge to clean, but let it pile up, and now you have to set up an appointment to fix it. The good thing is if you make it a habit of cleaning up as you go, before things get bad enough, you may never need to schedule that big cleanup. And if the rules are built into your workflow, the fix often happens before the pull request is even created. Thoughts? Subscribe for more.